Hey guys, my name is Sophia. I'm a professional pastry chef in New York City, and our favorite meteorologist, Starbucks, has officially declared that it is fall. So I'm going to be showing you how I would make their iconic pumpkin bread and their pumpkin cold brew foam pumpkin drink. But first, let's go get the good. Okay. So I've actually never tried either of these before, so we're going to do a live taste test. I'm going to kind of go through my feedback very oily very moist so i'm going to assume they're using oil and not real butter in here you get a slight spiciness pepitas are toasted there's some salt in there hmm. it's very sweet though i'm definitely going to cut the sweetness a little bit in the recipe that i'm making and it is slightly pumpkin forward not too much so I'm gonna up the pumpkin here as well let's move on to this this is what I'm really excited about it's also not very pumpkin-y here though there's a lot of cinnamon in this it's okay we're gonna make it better Okay, so I've scaled out all of my ingredients here. I use grams as a unit of measurement. That's the most accurate unit of measurement that you're gonna be able to do at home. But for those who don't have a scale, I will convert the recipe to cups in the description below. So our first step is to paddle the pumpkin puree, brown sugar, and honey until the mixture is uniform. Once everything is homogenized, we're going to begin adding our eggs in one at a time, making sure that each egg is fully incorporated after each addition. This will ensure that the eggs are being emulsified into the pumpkin mixture rather than just mixing with each other. Now we're going to begin streaming in the oil slowly, and by slowly, I mean slowly, guys, because we do not want the texture to split here. We all know that fat and water do not mix, so adding the fat slowly makes it easier for it to emulsify. For the dry ingredients, I've sifted together my all-purpose flour and baking powder to ensure that it's evenly distributed throughout the mixture. And I'm going to add the coarse salt to this. I'm also going to set aside one teaspoon of our pumpkin mixture. We're going to use this later for the latte and add the rest of the batch to the dry ingredients. So here I'm just slowly adding in the dry ingredients to the mixture. Once it's mixed about 55% of the way, I'm taking it off of the stand mixer and finishing it by hand just to ensure that I'm not going to create any of those tough gluten strands. Over mixing your batter could also give it a chewy or a gummy texture and that's not really what we're going for here. And your batter will look a little lumpy, that's totally fine, it's just because of the pumpkin I've puree. Four miniature loaf tins here. I'm doing miniature ones because of portion control and I also have this grand theory that miniature things taste way better than full-size things like miniature M&Ms tasting way better than full-size M&Ms. So we're going to fill these about three quarters of the way. Give them a few taps to even it out. And we're gonna top them with toasted pepitas. I just toasted these on the stove top. And finally, some flaky sea salt, and these are going to bake for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Oh, our pumpkin breads are out of the oven. They're back here cooling. We're going to get started on making our vanilla syrup for our latte. So I'm using monk fruit sweetener. This is my favorite sugar alcohol or 
no calorie sweetener, but you can use whatever sugar you want. So we're gonna go a cup of water, three tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener, and one tablespoon of vanilla bean paste. And we're gonna put that on the stove and bring it to a boil, and then it's done. Okay, so to make the latte, we're gonna take our coffee. I'm using espresso because I'm not a huge fan of cold brew, but you can use cold brew if that's what you want. We're going to add a tablespoon, two tablespoons of the simple syrup we just made. Mix that up, add ice to our cup. So for the cream, we have the remainder of our pumpkin spice, the remainder of our pumpkin, two tablespoons of cream, and one tablespoon of any milk of your choice. I'm using soy. And one tablespoon of our sweetener. Now you're just going to whip this to stiff peak. Okay, so if you guys are pumpkin spice lovers like me, you'll absolutely love this recipe. Don't forget to comment below what you want to see next.